Um, first of all, I want to thank the media for coming out here uh, today. Um, you know, over 358 years ago, the Flushing Remonstrance was signed, indicating religious freedom here in Queens. Freedom of religion is one of the main principles of this country. But we have to make sure that it's not only in theory, but in practice. And in 2012, I actually learned that in practice, here in New York State, we weren't doing the right thing by the Sikh, Hindu, and Islamic religions. In fact, those main religions, which account for millions of people here in New York State, were not being treated the same under the New York State uh, Religious Tax Code. And it may have been just a simple function of the fact that the Religious Tax Code of the State of New York hadn't been updated, maybe in generations. So I immediately introduced legislation to correct that and make sure that those three religions were specifically mentioned as well as their leaders, their faith leaders in the law. Last year, I was able to get that bill passed the Senate, but we weren't able to get it passed the Assembly. This year, in the last month of session, I was able to get it not only passed the Senate, but with the help of Assemblyman Brennan in the Assembly, we got it passed the Assembly. Sometime in the next month or so, the bill will be sent to the governor for signature. I feel pretty confident that the governor will sign it. But we're here today to show support for the legislation from these three religions um, and ask the governor, as soon as he gets it, to sign it into law. But I, I have to tell you, in all my years in government, um, starting first in the city council as a council member, and now in uh, my fifth year as the state senate, this is one of the most important pieces of legislation that I've ever been able to get passed. This will affect millions of people who are members of the Sikh, Islamic, and Hindu religions. And I'm just so proud to be able to do that. Uh, we have a number of speakers um, who are going to say a few words, and I'm going to call on uh, Rajveer from my staff to introduce them. Hi, I have um, from Global People of Indian Origin, Ashut Ramsawan, the president. Thank you. I have uh, just a few comments. Our organization is called the Global Organization of People of Indian Origin. It's a global organization of people who have left India generations ago, as well as recently. And we welcome this New York State Senate uh, bill. And I agree with all our speaker as well as uh, uh, our senator. But this is truly representative of the diversity of New York. And it puts a stamp on freedom of religion as it should be. So we welcome that and we also thank the Senator and Assemblyman Brennan for their efforts and we support them in all these things that they do for our community. Thank you. I have Jairam Prasad, the president of Gokyo Upper New York chapter. You didn't make it. No. Okay. Um, and Mr. Viparan. From the Federation of Hindu Mandirs. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, State Senator. Thank you very much for your tireless work to ensure some form of equality amongst uh, religious groups in this great state of ours that we have made our own. I want to thank you, thank you, Assemblyman Brennan, for his contribution, and we look forward to having our people find their rightful place in the religious. religious Diaspora of New York State. Thanks. It's really sweet there, huh? <laughs> I'm Mr. Mandeep Singh from the Kaputla Sports and Culture Club. Hi, uh, good morning, everybody. I want to thank Senator Villa for uh, this uh, very good uh, bill in the Senate that will allow everybody for uh, freedom of religion, that now we can practice our religion the way we wanted it and get all the benefits out of being in the United States of America. I was very proud of the Senator for doing what he do for other uh, minorities, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks. 
Um, I also have um, from the Brahmin Society of New York, Mr. Labu of Daya. Dear respected uh, Senator Tony Avila and his staff and everyone gathered in today's conference. Uh, good morning. Uh, I, Mufti Muriam Dahoon, Chairman, Alumni Foundation, New York, would like to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate our district Senator Tony Avila uh, and his team for taking on uh, this challenging task of getting this bill passed in the Senate. Indeed, this was not no easy task. It required continuous hard work, patience, and dedication. And I have known Senator Avila as a person who likes to take on serious and difficult challenges. <laughs> Senator Avila has reached out <laughs> to serve the needs of growing minority communities in Queens more than any other politician I have known. And this bill will certainly be a landmark achievement in the history of equal religious rights in New York. I sincerely pray and support all the efforts of uh, completing the processing of getting this bill signed by the governor. This bill will not only give recognition to the titles of the clergymen of different faiths, faiths it will be also bridge gaps between the communities. It will be a means of educating each other about the beauty of uh, each religion and I always say that educa education is the only solution to end all conflict because we human fear the things that seem alien or strange to us and as a result of our ignorance we resist and fight our fears. I sincerely pray that this bill and other efforts uh, made to educate the community uh, become fruitful and beneficial for all of us. I wish all the best to Senator Tony Avela and his team and thank them for inviting me to this event. Amin, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Thanks. Mr. Ron Kim from the Korean community. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> thank you, Tony. And I'm sorry to hear that only Tony Avela is here. What is all other politicians? We didn't invite them. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> don't get, don't get it. Don't yeah. get them into trouble. Anyhow, uh, what I want to say is, in New York, we have a statue of liberty, but liberty is for all equality. It is not pendant so. Okay. 
Uh, I know Jewish people get that their holidays, a lot of things. I'm happy for what they're getting. But what we're asking is equal opportunity. We want the Pakistans or Asians, uh, they like to have uh, their New Year is celebrate together. So New York is uh, 193 countries over here. We should work inclusive, not exclusive. So we must work together. And we like the Tony, thank you for his effort to make an equal opportunity for everybody. And uh, short, many people say good word. I just want to say thank you and uh, really appreciate your effort. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for everyone you coming here, media, and thanks for Tony Vela. Long time ago, we are suffering to get you know, our all new together. Uh, Priest uh, name on the media and uh, up all America knows you know how it is priest. Uh, so Tony Vela get opportunity for us. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone. Thank you. My name is Harpi Shankur. I'm Chairman, Public Relations, External Affairs, Access Culture Society, Honorable Senator, and co-sponsors and assembly. This bill actually shows that New York, if you have the right leaders, New York can be in the forefront again. And that is what he has achieved by getting this bill passed. And we all hope with all our sincerity that Governor will sign the bill as soon as it goes to his desk which is very important. We know that until and unless the bill is signed by the governor, it is not the law. And once we have it, it is going to put New York City and New York State ahead of the other states where they are still ta uh, arguing about certain issues. And that's the whole point of living in the city, multicultural, multi-society, multi-country, and Queens being the one of the biggest center. And uh, what could be the better place to have this thing started and uh, holding a press conference at a location like this. And once again, from the deep of our heart, from the community and everybody else, I thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. Padmaban from the Hindu Temple of North America. Namaste and good morning. My name is Padmanaban. I am from the Kuchuku Society of North America. The president is she wanted to be here, but uh, she this thing. She's not making sure she's about that. She's a little loud. I'm here to convey Dr. Omar Mesnikar's personal thanks to Senator Avela and the Assembly Member for their efforts in getting through this bill. And she conveys her current hope that this bill will be passed by the governor and for the benefit of all the religious communities who have been included in this. Thank you very much. Thank you. love each other despite their differences. And so I'm happy that this has occurred and thank you for the invitation. Babaji Sajjan Singh from Sun Sagar, Gurdwara and Valrose, along with Mr. Kataravalia. Okay. Hi friends. Today we are here to celebrate one of the very good occasions, you know, which Mr. Tony Avila and his friend has got passed the bill. And uh, we are very thankful to him on behalf of our Gurdwara Sun Sagar and the community, Sikh community that uh, he has taken his efforts and I appreciate him this year for their efforts, you know, and I, I, I want to congratulate him on this occasion. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs> Mr. Sanjeev Jindal from the South Asian for Empowerment. 
must be hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank uh, Honorable uh, Tony Avela, the state senator, that he's the one, uh, you know, giving us the opportunity to become a religious corporation law, to become the, you know, we are going to be part of the city now. We can a little bit feel about it. As of a South Asian for Empowerment, we are running that uh, organization under that umbrella. We are few in this city, but our concern is, you know, if we consider Indo-Caribbean people with us as a Hindu, Sikh, Christians, and all that communities putting together, we are across over a million in New York City. And this is the first step in the journey that we are looking that Ms. Avela, Mr. Avela make it successful that one. And we are looking more towards into it. So in the future also, if we need any help, you know, now we know that there is a shoulder to lean on. Thank you so very much. And we welcome that. Thank you. OK. Uh, I know it's getting hot because I'm sweating here. Um, any questions from the media? Um, uh, well, obviously, you will be available to talk to you individually. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. And what I would urge all of you through your respective organizations, send a letter to the governor. I'm, I'm pretty confident he's going to sign the bill. But it doesn't hurt for him to see how important this is to all three religions. And then we can move on from there for the other issues that all affect you. Uh, and it is not only freedom of religion, but it is also about equal rights. And, and again, I'm just so proud that we were able to do this. I want to thank my colleague in the assembly, Assemblyman Brennan, for working with me to get this done. Um, you know, I'll just tell you a, a quick story. When I first introduced this bill in the Senate, one of the Republican uh, members came over to me, who's an attorney, and he said, uh, why do we need this bill? I can't, but I can't believe that these religions are treated separately. And I said, go to the, go to the law, look at the code, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And he actually did look at it, and he said, you're right. And he, uh, he you know, eventually, along with um, almost everybody in the Senate, as well as in the Assembly, you know, voted to, to support the bill. So now that we've got to pass the Senate and the Assembly, one last step, and that's to get the governor to sign it. So hopefully in the next couple of months he will, and then the law will be changed forever. And hopefully it will be an example for other states. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for coming.